<laughs> anyway, fun. Brexit, bro. Yes. Uh, Breakfast. W- bre- Brexit. We've done our regular How to Kill an Hour show, but so once in a while, we like to give you a little bit of extra bonus stuff. So what's happening, G? Yes. So we've got the, the big EU referendum. Should I stay or should I go? So that's basically coming out on... Coming out like it's a film. The Brexit it's, it's, movie. It's, 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 <laughs> the, the Brexit. So, yeah. so top to bottom, like, what's going on? Like, you're a man that understands politics, Funk. And if I'm honest, I'm very ignorant, yeah? yeah? Not through choice. I just sometimes struggle to absorb some of the finer pieces of information in life. So, in life. so what's the situation then, bro? Um, Basically, right now, there's... um. It's getting, it's getting quite really, really serious. I mean, obviously, uh, most recently, there was a death of a politician based on the whole Brexit yeah. um, situation. I say Brexit because obviously the Brexit are the camp that actually want Britain to exit the European Union. Mm. But the, there's the, obviously the, the in camp and they're going back and forth. They're hiring higher profile celebrities. The, today, the in camp, David Cameron, he brought out the big bucks. Well, so I, I hope he didn't bring out the big bucks because obviously that's taxpayers' money. But he got <laughs> <laughs> he got David Beckham on board in the in campaign. Shit, yeah. So they're trying to get the real heavy hitters, real public faces, real popular faces endorsing each camp. And um, aside from that, you've got the situation going on with um, with Facebook, and um, Facebook um, has been uh, point had the finger pointed at them because it's been accused of having a slight bias in terms of exactly what he was talking about. Look, look, he's looking so smug. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Marcus called it in the last uh, episode. Yeah. Um, that, what was that? What was that episode called again? Just so I can smugly <laughs> reference it. What was that? What was the last, was, was the last one again, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> I love the way <laughs> Bill, Bill <laughs> producer of the show just looked at us and went, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This ain't no main episode business. You want to talk about Brexit? How's this killing the hour? This is killing the EU, boy. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Try the podcast app on your iPhone, bruv. Oh, man, he's hilarious. Nuclear sperm and Pablo Cocobar. Nuclear sperm and Pablo Cocobar. It's yeah. not, uh, some point in, in the show, we talk about that there. So, yeah. check out that episode. Um, so, yeah. And what, what was it? I said, I said. So, I was saying that Facebook could control. Basically, depending on what you see on your yeah, depending on what you see on your timeline, yeah, that can influence you to do stuff. For example, if when when there were the France attack attacks, yeah, everybody was using the French uh, flag as an overlay on the profile picture. You apparently more likely to do that, yeah, the more people on your timeline were doing it, yeah. So. Uh, Facebook has done a thing in the past where they're like, "I voted." You can just click about. Don't say who you voted. We say yeah. I voted. So I was saying in certain areas, Facebook could use other information to work out whether you're pro. It could even read a profile yeah. whether you're pro Brexit or not, whether Britain should leave the EU or not. Because apparently, this could make a, a very big difference in in our economy. It yeah. could either go horrendously wrong or great. Both sides are saying if it doesn't go their way, it's going to be shit. And if if it does, it's great. Yeah. Um. And <clears throat> yeah. So for example, if we're in an area where they know that it's a pro Brexit thing. Like, let's leave the EU. Yeah, they could make it appear more on people's timelines. Yeah. to encourage them to vote that way. Yeah. Or if they didn't want to vote that way, they would decrease the amount of of other posts that they see on the timeline. So that's what my theory was. Yeah, and I think after the show, uh, me and Billy are going to link up with you and get you to pay some bets down for the winners of the the Euros because you got it spot on. <laughs> because basically, what has been happening with Facebook is that they have been. Um, putting things on their timeline, i.e. kind of like um, boxes which you can select of based on what you're doing. Mm. And they kind of list as in, are, are you watching TV? Are you having a cuppa? And one of the options is, are you in favour of leaving the EU? So, But there wasn't one that says staying. It just said that the only option was in favour of leaving the EU. There wasn't an option to say, I'm in favour of staying in the EU. Yeah. And you can kind of gauge from that that maybe Mark Zuckerberg and his company are on that kind of that side of the fence because why would they just leave it with that only option available for you to kind of select as what you're doing interesting interesting so facebook was accused of obviously facebook is one seventh of the world's population has facebook yeah so they are very 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 powerful um organization and influence and yeah they've got to have the most amount of data that can be used the most for like any like for for collect like they could profile people yeah because it's called profiling isn't it yeah. when you work out what yeah. people are about yeah 
they have the most amount of information because yeah. people put so much more info into Facebook than they do on Twitter yeah. or they do on Insta they do yeah. on Snapchat the info that you get so and the, and, the, and the information on Facebook is a lot more reliable based on the mm. fact that recently Facebook makes you put your real yeah. name or a real ish name you can't put yeah. alias in there you can't put in Mr. Funky Butt at, uh, dot com or whatever you yeah. can't put little silly names in there it has to be John Smith or whatever so they're building up a real picture of yeah. who is in and who is out who made the allegation this is actually in the Guardian okay cool yeah. and what have Facebook said back to this because these are allegations we're not making these allegations we just well, obviously them. Facebook went down the, the, the same route as Shaggy and said it wasn't me so straight up yeah straight up and down but it's pretty obvious like what they do I mean there's no way you, you can't look at there's no other option that says like um, I'm not in favour yeah. I'm, I'm in favour of staying in the EU it just says I'm in favour of leaving which is kind of like simple psychology isn't it yeah. like because if, if you're in favour of staying you might yeah. not tick the box but yeah. if you're in favour of leaving you're more likely to tick the, mm, yeah. wouldn't they want to know on that, on that note yeah, it could become like a fashion thing when people go uh, I voted but did they actually go and vote do they just say I voted when when they see all their friends doing it? Yeah, they yeah, actually yeah. gone and vote. Yeah, well, exactly. That's the thing. You know, it's easy for me to click a button and say I voted, but it's a different thing. You know, because it kind of worked to me. Before the last election, I wasn't really in feeling it. There was uh, then everyone else was doing it. I could feel like a bit of a dick if I don't go and vote. Yeah, so I went and voted, and then how do you feel about this, Billy? As a young man, what are your thoughts? What, young doing man. the um, on the twenty third. Yeah, not. I don't want you. You don't have to put out your voting preference. Yeah, don't on, tell on us. Show. No. I'm just saying, like. Do you feel the same amount of pressure to vote or is there less pressure this to vote? This one's a big one, but uh, not as much pressure to vote than it was than <clears throat> the general election. Are you going to vote? Yeah, I'll, I'll pop down there and, and tick a box here. Yeah. yeah, cool, fair <laughs> enough. But what what I don't get, and I have to ask you, Funk, for real, like, yeah. I, I see you as someone who, who knows about politics and yeah. I'm, I'm extremely ignorant. And I just like to simplify things and politics yeah. Is, yeah. is anything but a of simple course. answer. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like there's something I don't know, bruv. I feel like oh, there's yeah. shit going on that I'm not being told. What's a tagline beyond. to X Files? There's there's something out yeah. there or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah. So what do you? What could you possibly feel is the most sinister possible sinister outcome of what is going on? I feel that somebody's out there to make a great financial gain. Yeah. Whatever way it goes. Yeah. And so, they've set this up. So that they can make a good gain out of it. I don't know. I, I feel like ever since there was the, the world recession that yeah. was possibly one of the, the nastiest sort of yeah. like we still yeah. I don't think <clears throat> the UK's recovered from that. Yeah. Still, still fucked up. Yeah. But like ever since that happened, I've always been like, mm, who stands to benefit? Like yeah. whenever there's a, a choice to be made that we are picking, yeah. who stands to benefit? And I can't, I don't know enough to, to know who benefits from yeah, it. Yeah. I think the, the, the main, um, argument that's been waved around is sovereignty immigration and yeah. that's been used obviously to scaremonger and whatnot yeah. but at the end of the day this is a conversation which only relates to one um um section of society business and business will win either way kind of thing whether they get more people coming in uh, uh, via migrant workers and they've got a bigger pool of people to, to uh to kind of pick from or uh, from another aspect they've got a a bigger market to sell their products to it's all business related but um the funny thing i was i was kind of um intrigued by is that there's a certain demographic that are more interested in the result of this eu yet they're not re- they're, they're kind of they're, they'll be pushing up daisies daisy soon so mm. realistically it, it has no re- relation to them it's really the young people that they need to kind of be invested i know this one is uh has kind of uh, taken on a lot of cynicism because a lot of people say oh why do you want so much young people actually voting this time but realistically it's because it, it's going to affect them more than anyone else yeah like this is never going to come around in in uh, probably in their lifetime a chance to get out of the mm. the Europe. So they have to vote now or deal with the the, the consequences, whether die or otherwise. Well, what's, the what's the only world? thing that I'm worried about is just like um, you got the older generation, yeah, they were stuck in their old ways, yeah, traditional traditional ways like no immigration. They got the really young people who are influenced by. DJ UKIP, Khaled, UKIP, and yeah, stuff that they yeah, see online, yeah, Britain First, etc., etc. Yeah, et yeah. They're influenced by that, yeah. so they just want to go oh, vote leave, just yeah. to, just for the sake of just the whole immigration thing. Yeah, they're not looking into other things like yeah. um, business and how it's going to affect them. 
how immigration is this and the other, but yeah, immigration has really got nothing to do with it. Yeah. I, and, 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 and I don't even, I don't even, uh, I'm just, they, they I'm don't just, really, I'm, they don't I'm, really realize that there's hundreds of thousands of people that emigrate from our country to go and live in Spain. Yeah. They're fucked if, if we leave the EU. Yeah. Um, to correct me if I'm wrong, but they're going to have to, if we leave the EU, yeah. they're going to have to apply to live in Spain. Yeah. They, they'll be sent back home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So all of you people that have been living in your mum and dad's house in Marbella and, and spending all your all, all, all your wages on bottles at Ocean Club, yep. you might have to start paying for hotels now. And obviously the the VAT will be different as well, the tax on yeah, certain goods. Feel, yeah. I just feel... So, see, with that, I feel like well, if, if it's going to go anyway, it's going to go up, innit? Yeah. I could be... I'd love to be wrong. Yeah. But that in the UK used to be 17.5%. We're exactly. never going to see that again. Never. might be easier for me to work ne- out. Never. Never. I've, I've never heard of prices going down. <laughs> they always go up anyway. But in relation to... Um, this show and tech, I always find it quite scary the fact that um, a wave of popular opinion in anything it, it happens like a viral trend. Mm. Now, if you apply that viral trend to politics, that could be pretty dangerous. If someone made like a funny meme about UKIP and they made it funny to the point where you don't actually see the message and it just started spreading yeah. to the point where people vote on it like it's fashionable, then that's what could happen because people are jumping onto things based on popularity, the peer pressure kind of thing. Like you said last week where um, you could have someone in an area looking at everyone else voting in the area and kind of joining the masses. Mm. That could happen with, with this situation on Thursday. So, hmm. Have you seen the memes where they're, they're, they're so intellig- intelligently funny that they're actually taking the piss out of it, but yeah. people don't realise that and yeah. they're like, oh, ha ha. Yeah. Like, I agree with it. Yeah, but we're taking the piss out of you. So Exactly. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, you know what? Yeah. I just think to myself as well, why yeah. haven't they developed a way of voting on the iPhone? I feel like yeah. that is... Too yeah. many ways of... Because there'd be someone that'll buy 50 million iPhones and just swipe left. Well, I mean, I guess if you they send your polling yeah. thing to your house and whatnot, surely you can just register online and, and just do it for yeah. a while. Yeah. Too whatnot. easy for young people to do. <laughs> Too easy for young people to do. Because more young people would vote and yeah. then we would not know what's going to happen. Actually, research it before they actually go and take yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think our little message in the show today is like, whatever your choice is, don't just like look at your Facebook feed just for all the like all the information. Yeah, like, hell no. Facebook could just be showing you all the people that are voting one way. Exactly. Like, you don't even look at Wikipedia. Wikipedia can be edited. Yeah, as well. yeah. yeah. Mm. Remember when somebody changed Beyonce's Wikipedia saying she was a lift kung fu master? Yeah. No, uh, Salonjes. Yeah. Someone says a uh, thing saying she was a, a a a lift martial artist. Someone changed David Cameron saying he he likes Boston Rams. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some more. <laughs> Give me some more. <laughs> um, but yeah, right. Well, that was our little our little touching on the Brexit. I suppose it's important for us because we're based here in the UK at How to Kill an Hour, and, and this time next week. Wow. Well. But obviously, it would have been um, a decision news. would have been made. Yeah. yeah, it would have been news to the Americans because we've had Obama over here on the side of David Cameron so I guess this is kind of like this is a world thing mm. a lot of people are invested in us staying or leaving the European Union because yeah. they want to sell us trainers it would just be interesting to look back at this show and then talk, have a conversation about who benefited yeah whether it's the trainer sellers or, <laughs> or whether it's other businesses as well That's anyway it's going to be crazy actually next week we might not be European no, we, will, we will be European what we, we might nah, not nah, be you we, we won't be European we, we won't leave the Euro- <laughs> we'll leave Europe. we won't be able to win the Euros <laughs> like, that would be our excuse that's a mistake it's gonna, maybe that's why yeah. maybe that's why I said like technically if we're pushed out of Europe then yeah. do we go to the next continent which is Africa do, does Britain become African I would love that uh, I would love mean, that you know? I would love that <laughs> jollof and fufu every lunchtime. yeah the queen in the queen. national kente cloth yes queen in the kente you get me Oh man, Prince William in his, you know, traditional Agbada, just skanking. <laughs> Sweet mother. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's how to kill a little bit of time talking about politics. Um, a little bit of a bonus episode, so you can, uh, just keep your mind clear and straight. Have you got, a, have you got a political message for them, Funk? Uh, no, I don't. I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll be a rubbish uh, political leader. I'll be a dictator. <laughs> You lose. That, that that would be your that would be your thing. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Let's wrap this one up. And uh, yeah. Plenty of ways to kill an hour out there. Wrap your Boris Johnson. 
Rock. Oh, hey. Rap your Boris Johnson. And we're going to leave it right there. <laughs> <laughs>